evening, January 20th. Oh, June the 27th. I'm sorry. Getting ready to be 4th of July, 2023. Working on a 12.5K uh, generator over man diesel, of course. Um, some of the real ones out there, I guess. But anyway, we're going to remove the ECM or PCM, powertrain control module, or electronic or engine control module, okay? Little, you got to take that little door off. I've done some 10Ks and showed you how that door comes off. It's right here. Now, this is the old famous coolant bottle. You notice it's got a hole here. Well, that's your dipstick. Some of them have a dipstick that come through here. This one don't. So it's a generic, it's a bottle that's used quite frequently through there. They got four 10 millimeters holding it here. It drops down. There's your, there's your inserts. Okay. Now where we're going to go is right here. It's kind of a little bit of a bear, but not. That's the ECM. I already took the connector off. We've got four 10 millimeters. I'm going to get it out of there and then lift it up. It's in the airflow, so it keeps it cool. I have a part number for you. Those with that ECM like that, engine control module, they have an RS-232 port um, that you can hook up a Onan scanner. So I'll uh, be looking into that because I'm starting to come across a lot more of these 12.5Ks. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, I'll put you on hold. We'll be right back. All right, so we're back. I'm, I took the main top plate off. I'm turning. All right, so there's three 10 millimeter bolts holding it. Right there's the ECM, our uh, engine control module that controls all this and the regulator and all that. All right, and it lifts up out of there. All right, so it's kind of dark. Let's see if I can do this. Put that right there. Okay, it just lifts up out of there. Yep. All right, grab your little ears. Oh, you got it. This whole thing comes out. I can't do it. I got only two hands. Let me put you on hold and I'll get it out. All right, there it is. That's it. There's some part numbers right there. 23755 EL Electronic, right? Serial number. Look at that steady hand just shaking. It looks pretty clean inside. Then you just pop it off of this bracket right here. See, there's another 10 millimeter bolt holding it. Notice that that has some corrosion on it. Look at the coolant that leaked down. They had, this is a dual heater core system, all right? And if you got your air conditioner right above the generator, you need to put these tubes in, because we had one in here that uh, I did, and the guy, his was right there as an evaporator, and it was dripping down on a generator. He made a joke, he called it an expensive drip pan. So we put his tube in. Funny, I got this one in. It's dual heating units or heater cores, you know, control for the driver, passenger, separate air conditioning, um, heating. So they got different drain tubes, see? All right, so that was proof that this thing got some antifreeze in it. They had a couple of heater cores leak. They had a heater core line blow off. They've uh, had a little run of bad luck on this heating system up here. That's it, folks. I'll take this one off right here and show you. Put you on pause and get that unit off of that mounting bracket. All right, so we're back. I'll show you right there. I don't see no bubbles in the substrate, that gel stuff. Okay, there's your Onan. All right, there's your Onan part numbers. Okay. So what it's doing... The system in here in the coach, which is called a silver leaf, is seeing an over voltage generator. And I measured it with an oscilloscope and a voltmeter, and I got 130, 133 volts. Well, that's not enough to set the code 12 on this. It needs to see like 138, uh, 150 something for like 30 milliseconds. All right, that's 0 0.030 of a second, folks. So it didn't even have a code 12 in it, all right? But the um, Silverleaf system, which is a multiplexing system built inside, I'd recommend y'all looking into them. I'm gonna modify my 1999 Beaver probably with a glass dash multiplexing Silverleaf system. Um, just to update it, have some fun working around with my Beaver. All right, thank you very much. It's Jeff from RV Diagnostics. Thank you. Bye-bye.